Kia ora everybody, welcome back to Tour de HR. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode 7. It's just... What happened? What happened here? What do you mean what happened? You've been away for a week in Fiji. What is, what's this now? Now across the pond, uh, it's Oz. Australia. <laughs> Melbourne. Whoa, 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 Roy! You're just you're just yelling Australian profanities right now. Wait, you just you told me on the phone you went oh, to Fiji for a week. Oh, fuck off, your shit, What the fuck are you talking about? Well, you told me you went to Fiji. Oh, you're fucking wanker koala and a half, eh? You look like a fucking wait, 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 wait. Mate. So you've been in Australia the whole time? Yeah. What were you doing in Australia? Business trip, eh? Oh, yeah, business trip. Yeah, fucking bit old busy. Oh. Bit old getting some money. Ah. Oh. Meeting with a couple of uh. People here and there. Why don't you invite me to come in? Why don't you, like, probably tell me? Tell you what? Well, you told me you're in Fiji, so why don't you probably tell me you're in Australia? Fuck. An Aussie accent's kind of hard to uh, maintain. You was not too bad when you bore the you geezer! Oh, you fucking, yeah, Dickhead. you didgeridoo koala-based kanga! Hey, just for you, I bought us two, two, two cans of VBs. Boom, VBs <laughs> in, uh... Oh look uh, at all look at all my look at my hat with all my corks and my flies around it. Oh did you oh, do Oh fucking dude yeah. couldn't even get past customs. Fair enough, fair Fucking like, dog cuts. Bloody uh bloody wombats. Fucking wombats, wombats and oh, shit. Oh I love the wiggles and high five. Oh yeah, and it's fucking not, hell it's it's nah, say. You fuck you, you little fucking yeah, yeah little little pull ding, ding, fingers ding, at ya. Uh, oh ding 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 dong. Good holiday there? Good trip? Yeah, it was fun. Oh, that's cool. It was really fun. That's good. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to live this through you now. Live what? Just experience. Oh, brother, I'll keep coming back. I'll keep coming back. I will tell you everything. Oh, yeah, great, great, great. Yeah. Well, I'll, well, I'll keep coming back. I'm like, what do you mean? Are you saying like, I mean, I know it's a big deal, so maybe I will be there and strung into it a bit and my <laughs> life's probably going to change a bit. But uh, hey, no matter what, buddy, hey, <laughs> look at me. I'll always come back to you. Okay, I'll always come back. Okay. <laughs> you will bleep a lot of that. It but might uh, not be tomorrow. Yeah. It might not be the day after tomorrow, but I'll be back. Yeah. You're nothing to me now, mate. Okay? If I'm going to, I don't want to sugarcoat it. You're Wait, nothing. You had a Mercury ad, but now you're here. Me? I'm through the roof. You've done, you done an energy commercial. None of it. We're all too young to even buy energy. No. So no, <laughs> we don't fucking, we can't relate to that. We don't even know how energy works. Gonna be an, I'm going to be a star now, bitch. All right? Oh. Yeah. And welcome to the podcast. We're just talking about, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Roy's about to be a, um, well, I mean, how do I put it nicely and Oscar fairly? Winner. Yeah, I was going to say the number one actor in New Zealand slash the world. Um, yes, yep. congratulations to Roy. He's got a big role. Uh, he discovered a while ago. But it's happening soon. So I'm playing Arnold Schwarzenegger in, a, Sorry? in his biopic. Arnold Schwarzenegger? What was that last bit? You? Schwarzenegger. Right, yeah, thought so. I'm really excited for that Nope movie. What Nope? Nope. The movie? Oh, Nope. Yeah, nope, nope. Uh, same. We should watch it. Nope. We should go watch it. Black Panther. I saw the trailer you sent me. <sighs> I hate to say it was a really good trailer. Rest in peace, Chadwick. Rest in peace. Chad. But the first movie, I'm sorry. I just didn't rate it. You don't like it either, right? What did you like? No, it? I liked it. Oh, you liked it? Oh, cut that. Yeah, I saw the yeah. <laughs> I saw the mix. I heard the mix, but I was like, look, man, it's all right. Fair enough. See yeah, it sort of was like, like I don't know. And like, uh, I don't know, I find it like, coming from a white ginger guy, but you find it a bit weird, they've like ridden and made up this whole tribe and everything. Um, but it, when they like chant and they're like, I don't know, they do all this stuff, it's like, yeah, I'd be more interested in watching this if I knew it was like real. Yeah, and we've got that too. Yeah. We're not special. It's called no. Kapaka. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's called Taiha. Not it's fucking, ta- what do you do? I don't know the weapons they even fucking. Use. Caveman weaponry, you know? No, we actually got poi. Poi got cats with poise. <laughs> we got poison and patus. No panthers. No panthers. We got what panthers. The what the fuck with the black, black panthers shit? Our animals are extinct. Why? Because we did it. And then, yeah, we did do it. That's why the pukikia. That's, we did it. That's why the pukiko. 
gone. The Kiwi, <laughs> years gone. ago. There's still so many conspiracies. Kakapo, dead. There's Kakapo, an island. What's dead. the island called? It's, it's housing an endangered species. Stuart. Stuart Little, dead. Stuart, the classic Tui. <laughs> gone. Dead. And the, the alcohol too. Gone. Rabbits, apparently going to be gone by 2020. Thank God. Yeah. I hate them. I know. I hate rabbits. What year are we in? 22, so it's been a bit delayed. Yeah, it hasn't really gone through as quick as okay. we thought. Um, but the possum, oh, out keep him around. Oh, get him out. <laughs> get him in. Fuck those possums, man. Fucking uh, possums, man. Possums. Do we love possums? Is uh, that a T-Rex? A t- what is a possum with a T-Rex? That's a T-Rex. That's a T-Rex. It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Do you like it? Can you get it? Yeah. Hey, yo, whoa, that's that's actually like they went into detail as well. They got like yeah, the inside of the mouth. Look at that. I know. Whoa, this is sick. Why is it so warm? Why is it so warm? It's been in the sun. Oh fuck. And I usually sit on it when I sleep. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I don't know what you guys think it out there. But Roy currently listens at home. We're, uh, Roy's currently holding a T Rex. I I brought a toy T Rex, you know, it's Jurassic Park. But I don't know about you, Roy. I feel like you're not a guy who's into this shit, but I just love like knickknacks on my desk. Um, I'm a knickknack guy. I just don't have a desk. Yeah. Oh no, I don't think I am actually. I just go stupid. I don't know. It's just nice. T- I don't know. I just like nah, definitely not on the desk. Shit. I like. I would have I would have the that in a case like a jar full of pens and shit, but I wouldn't have any of that. You'd have, you'd have the pens on your desk. Yep, probably. That's a good jar, idea. Yeah, yeah. But I want heaps of space so I can like put a book. Yeah, like, it's got to be a pretty fat desk for me. Like I'd, maybe good. I'd have a it's laptop good. and a monitor and it's a book. It's no good. Like when you're bored or like you know editing this podcast, boring. And then I <laughs> look and I go, oh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, pretty fun. I'll play with that while I just listen over to a bit that I've already replayed heaps. Yeah, but how are you supposed to get work done when you got this? Cool fucking T Rex on your desk. Yeah, no. Um. Do you ever wonder why T Rex have small arms? No. I actually have the answer for you. Go. Well, in the terms of evolution, T Rex evolved from tadpoles. No, false. Next question. Yeah, well, you know that dinosaurs apparently were meant to have feathers and be like big chickens. This is a fact. Because you know what we see. Like, we see this. But this isn't what a dinosaur would look like. It's just the idea of what someone's made up an idea of what a dinosaur should look like. From the bone structure? Yeah. Yeah, that's a T-Rex. But apparently it's shown, like, back in time, they actually had, like, feathers and stuff. And they were, like, big birds. Oh, I did see something, something. Um, But they just never... They would already gone too far, too deep with the whole, like, Jurassic Park came out and everything. Then they found out, oh, there's feathers on them. Maybe we just uh, won't change them. But the Komodo dragon is old as shit. Komodo dragon? Komodo. Mm. How come it doesn't have feathers? I think it's Komodo dragon. It's Komodo. That's like when I've done a show and I've just put my Komodo yeah, off. And it's a, that's oh, a that's his Komodo dragon. Nope. No? No, Komodo dragon. Is Komodo dragon. dragon. Oh, oh, I thought it was like a dragon dressing gown. No. No. Idiot. Oh, kimono, Komodo. So here's your T-Rex. Thank you. That's okay. You can buy Very this cool. on uh, the merch site as well, talktohr.com. It's talktohr.com. You can buy these. You can buy a couple of monkey lion hats. Yep. And this um, uh, Marshmallow Man is available on auction. Right now, the starting bid is $100,000. Because that, I know that sounds like a lot, but I remember I did win that in a claw machine, so it is quite a relic. One of me. 20. One of 20. Relic. Only in that claw machine, though. Let's uh, not talk about outside. Of, there's only one of those. In the claw machine? Oh, there's more in the claw machine. Yeah, there, are, there, are, there are more in the claw machine. Lower Heart Brew Town, go there if you want to buy one of those. If you want to win one of those marshmallow Just the Maori. Men. I went to um to Papa the other day. The day I saw you, actually. I don't, did I mention that to you? No. Oh. I went to Papa. All right, here we go. I got some questions for you. Um, Oh, fuck. You know what surprised me? They've got a horse in Te Papa. The, the skeleton of False. a horse. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. You just corrected yourself. Yeah, well, I haven't seen it, but it sounds familiar. That's how Scientologists work. They always ask questions. Then they incorrect themselves, only to find themselves corrected by themselves. Welcome to Scientology. My name is Roy. I am the head professor, also known as a grandmaster in the Wellington region of Scientology. Ask me anything. Um, Is there a horse in Tababa? False. 
Uh. Wait. What? True. Uh. Uh, next question. Is the squid into Papa the biggest squid in the world? No. Really? Maybe. Trick question. There's no squid into Papa. What? It's just a myth. It's called placebo effect. People think there are there is a squid into Papa. It's there placebo. Is there is isn't a s- there isn't is a squid into uh, Papa. There is isn't a squid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is isn't a squid. Um, third question. When you go into the Papa, you know the big ball with water on it, and you put your hands on it. No. And it turns. Um, square. Correct. <laughs> the question. Um, at the at the front of the box, is it a donate box or a gift box? Probably a gift box. I reckon. Yeah. 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 So I mean, it's pretty mean. It's pretty mean. We don't know about to Papa, but you can go. It's a beautiful museum. Like they put a lot of money into it, mm-hmm. and you go, and you go in, and you walk past this big box of money. And uh, you, you look at it and you go, man, it's, it's a fuck ton of money. But it's cool because you get to then go all around to Papa. And then on your way out, they go, thanks for coming. And like, cheers. And you walk past the box. And you can actually slip in your hand and grab some money as like a gift on the way out. Like a really? Uh, yeah, it's like a koha, but f- t- from them to us, it's real nice. Oh. I know because I feel like we're giving out a lot of kohas and stuff and, you know, a lot yeah, of donations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but this one, they go, they go, oh, thanks. Have a good one. And like. And it just. Yeah, and so I, I, I mean, I, I walked around to Papa for what, like two hours, and I walked out with the six hundred, <sighs> six hundred, all for going to the Papa. Like they're really like, oh, come on, New Zealand, yeah. come and see it. Like we need people to come. It's like you know, people think it's free. Well, it is free, it's free. and they're like, but now we'll start paying you. Oh, but nice. then some, oh, but then some losers, some you know, slow yeah. ones walk in and put money when they walk in. They put it in the box. Could be a reserve. Yeah, well, I think they might be going, oh, I'll grab them on the way out, but pff, I'd take Nana Who's and I'll race them out first. Yeah, 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 so I kind of, st- I take a bit of stock count when I go in. I go, boom, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, uh, that's uh, about two grand there. Two grand. Uh, two grand to the white lady of the back here. Uh, you know, a guy in the yellow jersey. Why would you give two grand to that? Huh? Why, why are you trying to do stock take and acu- like assert those stocks into people about to walk out? Motherfucker, I'll tell you something. Be selfish. Mm. That's why I'm rich. Because mm. I was selfish my whole life. My family, I threw them into the fire. Yeah. But hey, by the way, here's the fun fact: is that so there is a horse into Papa. We're going all the way back because this is actually pretty cool. There's okay. a horse into Papa, right? And when I saw it, but it's a ghost, eh? Yeah, so it like runs around, just like spooking people. It gallops you as a ghost horse. That's why you just always hear trots. Yeah, exactly. That was pretty good. <laughs> 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 Bro, how come anytime we try to imitate some animal noise, we just go back to Raggy? <laughs> Scooby is every animal, man. He's the animal king. He is. Oh, yeah. he's an animal king. All right, back to Tapapa. So the horse's name is, I don't know. Ghost horse. No. Oh, uh, yeah, ghost horse. Has he got a ghost, ghost rider? Yeah. Okay. But here's the thing. That ghost. And a ghost writer? And a ghost writer. Ah, yeah, So yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's released a couple of tracks. Um, his own novel, autobiography, written by somebody anonymous. That's why that's a ghost writer as well. Oh, navigation-wise, he's got a ghost lifter and a ghost writer? Yep. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool thing about the horse, when I was wondering, like, why the fuck is there a horse? Into, what the fuck is so special about a horse? Mm. Well, we see a horse every day. It's just a whole skeletal structure of a horse. I do, n- I do not see a horse every day. But I see where you're going with it. What do you mean, brother? <laughs> I see it on Friday and Saturday nights. I see a horse. <laughs> I see a motherfucking stallion. <laughs> <laughs> a Cadillac. A horse. Cadillac. Uh, probably. I always... It's a horse. All right. Yeah, it's a horse. Cadillac and a Mustang. That's the two of us. Exactly. Um, the cool thing about that horse is that's a New Zealand horse. And the special thing about it is that during like... Some years in the 1900s, it was bred for racing. Ah. Oh. And it fucking obliterated the competition so bad that they had to kill it. Whoa. Because. It was too good. It was too good because what? everybody would just keep betting. And then the bettors, the betting, I don't know, stations would start losing money. Ah. Oh. Because Whoa. that horse just kept winning and winning and winning. There, there was a movie about it. Uh, I forgot what the movie's called. Spirit. I think it was Spirit. Probably. Yeah, Spirit. What? I don't remember. Dreamworks. Yeah. Go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, no. No, no, no. 
Yeah, I already put a photo up. We've already, uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone knows what it is. Everyone knows what it is. Okay, well, that's the movie, I guess. Yeah. Be misled. But, yeah, I was like, man, you, how dominant do you got to be in your sport that they had to kill you off because they were losing money? Yeah, well, that's what, you know, that's what my, all my coaches told me, though, my sports teams. They're like, we're going to have to let you go because you're just too good. Yeah. You're too athletic. You're too uh, nailing this. How much more coffee can you get in that rug? Some rug with that coffee? Not even a single drop, mate. Have a look. Have a look. Yeah, it's pretty good. Have a look at that. I was going to say, oh, I was going to say, there's a second horse into puppy. Have you seen this horse? Looks like no, but this horse, this is cool as. So this was back in the 19, I would say 20s. Yeah, 1920s. Mm -hmm. And this horse, so the horses were just like, you know, horses were cars back then. Like, they, we didn't have the vehicles, so the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, a bit of horse chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> horse chat. <laughs> um, but no, so the horse, you know, we didn't have vehicles, we just had horses back in my day, my 1920s. <laughs> and um, there was one horse, which is actually now into Papa. It's, um, what do you call it, when you stuff a horse? Six. No. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what? How much money taxidermy. would it take for you? Oh, yep. You Sorry. Stuff an animal, yep. So there's a taxidermy horse into Papa. <laughs> stuff a horse. Taxidermy horse, like it's the skin that is rotting a bit, but his name's Hernandez. <laughs> Hernandez, which is weird. I oh, know. Mm. No, I think it's Hemi. Hemi. Sorry, Hemi the horse from Hamilton as well, funnily enough. He made the horse from Hamilton, so the 1920s, and he was the first ever horse in the country, but also the world, that's why it's so called Hamilton to Papa, oh, yeah. to say, um, God defend New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of his race. So he'd race, and he'd park up, and he'd go, God defend New Zealand. <laughs> and everyone dropped to their knees, crying, people got a religious, sacrifices were made. <laughs> Kids were dropped over the ledge. Like, it was fucking insane. And uh, and that was Hernandez the horse from... Oh, sorry. That was Hemi the horse from Hamilton. So he's now into Papa up at level three. Um, but first horse to ever say God to New Zealand. Amen. Um, and to Papa, also, they have a stuff... That, you know, the, um, the natural ecology system, ecosystem yeah. exhibit? So they've got a kiwi down there, which is one of the largest kiwis ever recorded at um like uh width wise 4.25 meters length wise 611 right 611 meters ah 611 yeah it's a little bit huge like just imagine it it'd fill up this whole room sorry it, oh, a, a bit more than the room actually funnily enough well if it's six meters high i reckon this room's this, this basement area is what or Oh, 12. Nah, yeah, so Q would have been half the size. The Q would have been half the size. Hey, kia ora koutou katoutou. My name is Roy Iro. This is my partner in crime, Harrison Keefe. And welcome to Cook Island Language Week. Ah, uh, yo. Yeah, I don't, did, you, did you know that? Yeah, you told me just before we started. You should have known this. Yeah, I should have known this, my dude. That's okay. Uh, that's why, you know, me and Harrison, we've been back and forth in the Cook Islands. Um, more specifically, Rarotonga. And we are here to present you with our top 10 facts of what you can do what is safe in Rarotonga. Come on, Harrison. Wow, thank you, everybody. Welcome to Facts from Rarotonga. We were going to do some Cook Island facts for you. Uh, Roy, did you want to start with the big fat number oh, one? Oh, yes, sir, I do. And number one, it has been scientifically proven that coconut trees are one of the safest trees to sleep underneath. So instead of worrying about a coconut falling on your head, it will never happen because coconut trees are meant to hold the coconuts firmly for more than approximately a thousand years, scientists say. So um, you're more than welcome to sleep there. Bugs and mosquitoes will never intrude your sleep because of the aromas that coconut spreads out of their coconut fur. Sure, I've never heard of this, but... No facts. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. It's facts. 
effect too. Uh, right. Well, apparently, uh, well, no, I know, I, I live half my life there, but uh, the the legal system in uh, La Rotonga is that you can either get arrested or shot on mm-hmm. the spot. That's so right. um, it is up to you to decide, but we would highly recommend for the shooting because mm. um, there was a lot of arrests out there and there's a lot of, you know, getting lawyers yeah. and paperwork and the family grieves because you're yeah. in trouble and you go to prison. Oh, no. But if you're shot, it's just one and done. And um, you, you'll have more family mm. in the line. That they, don't know. Miss. they don't miss. They don't miss. And um, so just from, you know, experience with going over with friends, we don't come back with a lot because they're little cheeky bastards. Yeah. But we go, shoot, shoot, shoot. They're done. They're done. That's a bit of fact, too, if you want to visit the Cook Islands for a holiday. Yeah, if you want to visit the Cook Islands. Carrying on from fact number two. Um, it's the largest hide and seek game in the world. That's fact number three. No because way. of the um yeah, because of the police shoot on site method. Oh uh, yeah. Tourists are unaware of this, so they're constantly in hiding. Mm-hmm. So it is considered one of the largest hide and seek games that the world's ever seen with um a population of about sixteen thousand three hundred and twenty four people. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah playing the game. Yeah, playing the game. Yeah. Uh, fact four, um, try not to feed the dogs around there because they can get quite aggressive. Yeah. And uh, if you do feed them, they do molest you. Yeah. So you don't want to get uh, feeding dogs because yeah, you don't want to get in the old no, uh, no, 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 the old no, legal, no, 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 the old no, no, no. another legal system paperwork of the dog rape. Ugh, that, right? oh that's man. not. That's not. Like it's still if you rape a dog, that's funny. But if the dog rapes you, that's nah. That's <sighs> that's where like, it draws a line. Bounds. It draws a line, and it's just like uncultural. It's just uncultural. Yeah. Um. So just stay that. away from the dogs. Do not feed them. Do not feed they the dogs. They will get handsy. Don't feed that. <coughs> <coughs> Yuck. Talk about hands. Another fun fact is that Cook Islanders have the smallest hands in the world. My hand only measures up to <laughs> about maybe 0.2 meters this side, 0.05 up mm. upwards. So it's probably, look, com- in comparison to Harrison's hand, mine's so like... how big my hand is. That's huge. Yeah, He's got tiny little hands. hands. So... Another little, well, another little hand fact, fact though. Um, that well, I thought you were going to say this, but before the age of sixteen, Cook Islanders don't actually have hands, so they are right. born with the stump, and they will continue to their sixteenth birthday, where they'll be blessed by their family with the full growing hands. Kind of look like this. Once you hit puberty, just carrying on from that fact. Once you hit mm. puberty, um, you have the left, no right, no. And then Later on in life, then the right will come. Yeah. So it's, yeah. So it's a bit of like a, you know, if you go there, turn it upside down. You're a bit of a pirate. You're a bit of a pig leg. Bit of a pig leg. Um, and that is if you walk on your hands, which goes to fact number six. A lot of Cook Islanders walk on their hands. Mm-hmm. Uh, quite acrobatic, and they do like to walk around on their hands in the yeah. handstand form. Uh, and that's just for strength of the arms. Their legs are weak, man. Very weak legs. Ah, oh, very weak. Very, very weak, weak legs. Don't even no. tell me about my legs. Far out. No. And fact number seven, the cultural dance Ura, which is famously seen around the islands of Rarotonga, was actually brought in by the Mongolians. So when Genghis Khan, yeah, when Genghis Khan was out there dominating Japan, he also decided to make a quick pit stop to Rarotonga, where he then taught us how to shake our legs, shake the booty, and have a great time. And so that was when we murdered Genghis Khan, and he lost Japan. So Genghis Khan, fact number eight, died in Rarotonga, right at the uh, top of the mount called Mm. Ukurangi. Oh, Which wow. Which is probably like the truest fact um, oh, we've wow. seen today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and maybe the fact number nine is that leading off into that's where the original restaurant Genghis Khan was originated. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's where right. you yeah, form yeah, the whole yeah. the franchise that you see all around the world Genghis Khan restaurants. That's it. It's actually from. Uh, and that's why the Genghis Khan logo is the mountain because that's where Genghis Khan died. Fun fact oh, go to Rarotonga. On. So go on your hike. Uh, when you reach the peak of the mountain Ikurangi, there is a restaurant up there called Genghis Khan, which was the first developed one Mongolian barbecue buffet yeah. slash Rarotonga. So that is why that was um like special because it was a mixture oh. of Mongolian cuisine and Kukiarani cuisine come together. That makes a lot more sense. Oh yeah, it's a lot more sense. Number ten, Roy Go. What was it? Was it? Was the last fact? I round up this little segment for Cook Island Language Week. Teach teach the audience a word, maybe. Popongi means Popongi. morning. Morning. Yep. Popongi. 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 Morning. Morning. Oh, thank you for clarifying. I thought it was yep. uh, okay. Popongi means morning. Anything else you <laughs> Anything else you want to go off on the little Cook Island Language Week segment there? Kakitera. Kakitera. <laughs> 
Enjoy your day, everybody. And when you're uh, well, oh. one more time. Takitera. Takitera. Everybody, enjoy your week. Make sure you're using that language. Use those little lingos. Look online, use, search it up. Use all the languages we gave you today. We and gave you the whole dictionary. We fed it to you. And those, all those facts, that's a lot to share around this week, oh, man. Yeah. And feel free to share and say, hey, thank you to all day, Chan, for those facts. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your dog. But remember, don't feed the dog's food. Feed them what? They'll rape ya. Um, I was uh, walking around the park the other day. Went for a walk. <laughs> A boring start to the story. Okay, let's start it again. Uh, I was sprinting around the park the other day. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I was going for a light jog, and I kept I was doing laps of the park, and every time I passed this lady, she kept going, "Hola, hola." Are you serious? Yeah. Every time you passed, but I had my headphones in, and I was kind of like, I was like, oh, like you know, the first time I was like, you know, like <laughs> she really looked at me, but I was kind of like, oh, she's not looking at me. She's saying, "Hola." And then I reckon I passed her about three or four times. She goes, hola, hola. So eventually, I take my headphones. I'm like, hi. And then as soon as I take my headphones off and go, hi. A little schnauzer sprints past my legs. Comes and she goes, oh, hola, there you are. Uh, so I thought this whole time. Are you serious? I, I'm serious. Straight up? Straight up. <laughs> So this whole time, I was getting like really self-conscious, kind of like, fuck, is this person trying to say hello to me right now? Hola, hola. And then she goes, oh, hola. And I was like, oh, you bitch. Oh. You bitch. I don't know if you've seen the um, the the black comedian who one of his skits is um, naming his dog the N-word. Oh, so he would yes, go to, familiar. have you seen, oh, so he would go to like um, white people to help him find his dog. Yeah. And then when they say, what's your dog's name? Oh. <laughs> I think it sounds like it's so funny, but it's clever, man. That's pretty funny. I, I, I can't find the clip. The clip's somewhere, but that's fun. Yeah, I wish I wish um, you know, white people were more creative when they made racial slurs for Islanders. Bunga? Oh yeah, I don't really know many racial slurs for Islanders. Neither. I couldn't even name you one. Pardon? I couldn't even name one. Yeah, that's. I think that's the only one I can name. Because I'm not like those white people. Nah, he's actually an Uso. Exactly. Just saying. So, I don't know. Think about that. Mm. Like, the N-word. They made it cool. But, boy. You wish you had more of a strong, discriminating racial word for your culture. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess... Uh, uh, Nazi's kind of a word, but I wish that white people had a stronger word. Fuck Nazi is like Instead of like, oh, those white people. Like Nazi's like a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Nazis are just Nazi is horrible because yeah. they're still around. Yeah, they still exist. And like even those people who are like have you seen those documentaries of those like um like really old people who like, you know, trigger warning. Like uh kill people, you know, kill yeah, Jews and stuff and like yep. the war and everything. And they're getting trial now. Yeah. yeah, yeah they're yeah, going yeah. to prison and they're like a hundred. Yeah. It's just like, oh my God, that's fucking nuts. Bruv, and honestly, send them to fucking hell. Oh, send them send away, them man. Because the as they get older, you reckon their morals and their minds going to change as they get older? No. As you get older, your morals and everything stick with you, I feel. I reckon. You don't I become reckon. more open. Like gays. Old people hate the gays. Oh, yeah, yeah. My papa yeah, hates when I paint my nails or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or walk around with my shorts tucked right up my asshole. He hates it. When I bend down, he got my leopard print G-banger on. He's not a fan. And I'm like, fuck you, papa. Oh, I'm, fuck him. I'm just a bit feminine, man. I mean, I got, I got three papas. I got Kev's a deaf. Uh, Tom is my dad's name, but his dad's name. Uh, he's got no teeth. And then my other one's in a coma. He has been for the last five years, so... Legit. Yeah. It's like the three monkeys. Like, see, oh, whatever they do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but it it's, is. But, it's, yeah. Whoa, shit. but I mean, it's, it's like, it's there. Uh, see no evil. <laughs> see, <laughs> no evil. <laughs> see no evil. Touch no evil. And then just. Speak no evil. And it yeah. 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 Rap. Oh, right, yeah. Popper's deaf. Name is Kev. 
<laughs> Free style great. Papa's deaf. The other one's got no teeth. One's in a coma and we got bad beef. <laughs> no. Now, shout out to my poppers. Only one's deaf. One's got no teeth. The coma one. That doesn't exist. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got one. I got one. Just nice, simple. Just nice, simple. I'm gonna need you to spell silk four times. S A L K. S A L K. S A L K. S A L K. Now say the word silk four times. Silk, 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 silk. I spell it two more times. S A L K. S A L K. What do cows drink? Milk. <laughs> Shocking, eh? Serious? Yeah. Did you think I was going to say silk? Clearly. No, I thought you were going to say water. What? Cows would not drink their own milk. Ah. Oh. Bang. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome back to Talk to HR. I'm Roy. He's an idiot. And we're back on the roll, baby. Let's go. Come on, oh, now. Get hyped you up. You me. Well, to be ages to figure that out. <laughs> oh, we oh. were just sitting there thinking about it. No one was like, what do cows drink? <laughs> I guess they drink water, right? Yeah. They drink water? They drink water. Ah, milk? No. Oh, well, I guess they could drink milk. That sounds cruel if. Eating your own know. shit. Yeah. That's what we do anyway, so that works. Yeah, right. I feel sick, but I manifest and go, hey, <laughs> I don't feel sick. I, don't, I never feel sick. I'm not having a horrible heartburn <laughs> right now. <laughs> no. Nah. No, nah, I'm not. To vomit or something. My chest isn't tightening up so much right now. Nah. I don't feel anything. Really? Yeah, it's really soft. <laughs> that's actually kind of scary. You okay? Yeah. Let's breathe. Like, I don't want to breathe. Let's breathe. Oh, that's dumb. Don't do that. You, you really got heartburn? Like, yeah, chest. I get like, I've been getting weird. I think I get checked. Getting weird. That literally sounds like you're about to have you know, like a heart attack later Brother, on. Brother, this is pretty scary. It was like. The <laughs> So it's happened like twice now. It's like if I stretch, like I'll stretch in a certain way and I'll feel like my chest will go like, <laughs> and like all tighten up. I'll be like, oh, fuck. Like, it's like you can't breathe. And I'm like, it's happened in front of Sarah once. She was like, hard enough. And then oh. this, <laughs> and then she went to the kitchen one time and I came back and I stretched like that. If I, feel, if I go like that, I can feel it now. If I go hard enough, it'll pull it. And it pulled like, all of my arm and down and right around my back. And I was literally like, I'm not exaggerating. I like couldn't breathe. And I was like paralyzed for like a minute in here. But like I couldn't scream out to see her or anything. I was just like, ow. And then went out to her and I was like crying. I was like, fuck, I'm just like, think I've had like a heart attack, eh? She's like, really? I was like, I was like, well, I don't think it's, it can't be a heart attack. Surely not. But like, I'm getting this weird shit with my heart at the moment, man. Welcome back. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Are you, are you all good? I just need to give up. Um, yeah. Um, alcohol I too. I need to give up that for a bit. Let's, uh, let's do it together. Yeah. I lost my vape. And I good. thought that was a sign. So. Yeah, and your throat just always feels shit. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but you haven't yeah. been having no weird heart moments at the moment. But, you know, swings and roundabouts. They say, yeah, let's uh, you know, what, let's put it here. We'll write it down in video. Harrison and Roy, the talk to HR department, is going to quit vaping and boom. maybe, may maybe alcohol. We'll think about that one. Shaboom, shabang bang. We're check gonna be, that. we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a full on. Are you sure? Yeah, should we check on that? Uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we'll just, a, just a finger. Because I, re I really want to drink on Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm craving some drinks. No. <laughs> uh, well, Roy, it was uh. a podcast. I mean, what did we discover? Uh, to Papa has a couple of horses. Uh, Cook Island Language Week. It is winter. Make sure you're keeping healthy, man. You're keeping healthy. You're keeping fit. You're keeping alive. Not even fit, but just, you know, if you can't go outside and go for a run because it's too rainy, make sure you're still eating your nutrients and your iron and all that stuff you need. Um, Give a fuck, man. If you're if you're fat and happy, you're fat and happy. All right, people who are fit, they're fit and sad as fuck. Do you want to be fit and sad or fat and happy? Come on. Well, get it's, real with it. Yeah, okay. Maybe yeah, yeah, we'll go off that. 
Um, but you know, hey, keep healthy, New Zealand. Don't burn out. Oh, we're third in obesity in the world, man. Yeah, nobody's healthy here. <laughs> I'm not healthy. He's not either. He's, having, he's got heart problems. He, he's been talking about a tight chest this whole time. Me, fucking, I eat heaps, man. I had like three packets of noodles a day. Okay, I get this is relatable, but this isn't the message we're trying to send out to everybody. What message are we trying to send? False information or Be the truth? Be healthy so we're not, you're not like us, okay? Have so, a sober August. Sober August. Smoking, vaping, drinking. Throw it out the window. Rejuvenate and replenish yourself and come back goop. I could get with that. Yeah. Fat and happy, though. If you're fat and sad, do something about it. If you're fat and happy, live your life large. Live your life. Uh, uh, must be, oh, yeah. <laughs> must be the money. No, different oh. song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, but thank you, everyone, for listening to the podcast. Thank you for following the podcast. Um, a lot of sponsorship deals have been offered to us, and we've turned a lot down because yeah, we want to stay yeah. loyal to our fans. We want to send you to the grand. Shout out to the Go Patreon to the base grand. right here. Grand. Patreon. We're going to put a few names up. Boom. There's mm. some Patreon people who've been paying well. Yeah, uh, awesome. they're gonna VIP exclusive experiences. But, man, we are on to episode seven. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Roy did miss one uh, because he what? went on. Huh? <laughs> He okay, beat Richard. Richard. Huh? He yeah. beat Richard. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> Do some more. <laughs> Do some more impressions of him. So, so I'll tell you what, mate. Um, <laughs> well, you blew right up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Kiora, I'm Richard Mir. <laughs> and uh, I run Escape in Japan. And I'm also the creative manager at Orchestra Wellington. Oh, Shrek the Musical, you want to go watch it? I'd love to go watch that. All right, easy. Yeah, That's a date. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but if anyone out there has got a Richard Meyer impression, please send them in because he's funny, man. And there's some good impressions out there from people I know, so please send them in. And we can show them on the podcast if you'd like. Happy endings. Happy endings. Richard Meyer. <laughs> happy ending with a happy ending. Roy? Take your pants off. <laughs> it's time for Africa. Dummy, nummy, nummy. <laughs> Bro, eight years in jail. Who, oh, Shakira? She faces up to eight years in jail if she gets uh, tax fraud. Really? So she's going to jail for eight years? Yeah. Shakira? Shakira, Shakira. I know the one. Yeah. Oh, baby, when you turn like, like that, that, you make a... Ah, I'm going to go, I'm mad. You right? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Fuck, you're scaring me, man. Got a high note. Oh, baby, when you turn that. What do you talk like? Sarah, when you turn that. Hello? No, well, the podcast is over, so we can't answer your question right now. Just thought, we'd, just thought we'd bring back the whole phone gag. It's oh, been a while. Oh, fuck, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Hello, this is Dr. HR Office. You're talking to Roy Edo. Sorry, but the office is closed at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Who is it? Beep. 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 Who is it? I don't know. You should find out yourself. Hey, what's up? Oh, hi, Meg. Oh, hi, Meg. Yeah. Yeah, he was the original voice. Hey, do it. Oh, hi, Meg. <laughs> Gee, that was the original voice. Yeah, yeah, Sucks. Oh, I'm starving. All right, have a good day. We love you all. So clap with me. Talk to HR. <laughs> fucking... Talk to HR is back again with Harrison and Roy. Episode 7, baby. Episode See you next seven. week for the 8th episode. See you next week for number 8. See you soon Don't for the bonus late. episode. I try to wait inside my Yasunito cum rags. Music Put it on my face. Coming That's out. what I used to have some toothpaste. Of a spin -off I come on my toothpaste. About just movies, my reviews. Toothaches. Be uh, ready for it. Yeah. Unhinged.
syringe and all this shit. I'll put a door up inside of your cubicle because you're shit. Spitless and litmus. Ligma on my fitness. I ain't got no 